In the United States today, there's a lot of talk about engineers and the fact that we need more engineers. But I think a fundamental question that we have to ask ourselves and promote as a question to uh, America's students and America's teachers is what kind of engineers do we actually need in the United States to move us forward? So when you look at current American industry, you find that there are engineers working in all of those industries that have been responsible for the design and development of the products that make up the industry product sets. And those engineers are at some point in their careers. Many of them are probably close to retirement. Many of them are in the middle of their career and some are at the beginning. So when you think about how many engineers we need and in which industries do we need engineers, you have to take into account this concept that is called attrition. Attrition is the term that is applied to the turnover in an organization. Now typically in professional engineering organizations, attrition is a concept that uh, deals with retirement and for other reasons that a professional might leave a job. Very rarely, at least in my experience, have I seen engineers terminated for their uh, for behavior or discipline or for their inability to do their job. So you have normal attrition. Uh, a person who is an engineer reaches the age of retirement and they are then prepared to retire and somebody else moves into the organization. So coupled with the fact that there are industries and there are engineers already in pos positions and there is this concept called attrition, we then have to ask ourselves in which industries and in which product sets do we actually need more engineers. So what we need to be thinking about and what we're going to be addressing in It's About Work is what are those engineering challenges and specifically what types of engineers do we need to prepare to move America forward.